Good day from ChemHelp ASAP. Knowing the mechanism of action in a drug discovery program can assist in the prediction of safety risks for that program. Let's see why. One way to classify a drug program is based on whether the drug target is known. If the target is known, then it is a target-based program. If the target is not known, then you have a phenotypic program. PDD for phenotypic drug discovery, sometimes called PBDD, phenotype-based drug discovery. Since our discussions in this course are so dominated by the ideas of target-based discovery, it may seem difficult to think about drug discovery without knowing the target. The discovery process is indeed different, but it can be done and was the standard approach back in the 1970s and earlier. I'll also note that many of these drugs discovered under a phenotypic approach are still used today. Despite the success of phenotypic discovery, there are advantages to target-based discovery. One of those advantages is safety. If you know the target and understand the pathways associated with that target, then you should be better able to anticipate the safety risks of affecting that pathway with a drug. If you can anticipate a compound's safety risks, then you can design assays and studies to monitor and quantify these risks and hopefully minimize the risks to human patients. In PDD, you do not know the target. You can still monitor for safety risks, but the monitoring will be general and not focused on any particular anticipated safety liability. There are reasons for a phenotypic program. The main reason is that you might not know the pathways associated with a disease, and you might not want to wait until research on the disease pathways has identified a target before starting a drug program. There are clear unmet medical needs that are not sufficiently understood for a target-based program, but can support a phenotypic program. Another advantage for PDD is that active compounds in a PDD program are identified based on their efficacy against the disease. In other words, you know that the compound is doing something beneficial. Compounds in a target-based program are initially selected based on on-target activity. Affecting a target does not always affect a disease. These are important advantages for phenotypic discovery. One of the classic uses of PDD is for antimicrobial drugs. It is relatively easy to test whether a compound kills bacteria, fungi, or microorganisms without needing to know the mechanism of action of the compound. While I tend to focus on target-based discovery, I hope this video helps you appreciate that phenotypic discovery also can play a vital role in the identification of new drugs. Please leave a like, subscribe, or leave a comment or question. Take care.